And now most health plans are beginning to cover the cost of contraceptive care, which is vital for women's health. You know, doctors prescribe contraception not only for family planning, but as a way to reduce the risk of ovarian and other cancers. And it's good for our health care system in general, because we know the overall cost of care is lower when women have access to contraceptive services. Now, before this new law, many health care plans charged high deductibles or co-pays for these preventable services, or they just didn't cover them at all. According to one study, more than half of all women put off the care they needed because of that. How many of you have gone without the care you needed or the checkup you knew just because you were worried that the insurance copay uh, would go too high and you couldn't afford gas or groceries or your kid's new soccer uniform? So you, you, you have, have, have had to make choices and sacrifices. I don't think a working mom in Arlington should have to wait to get a mammogram just because money's tight. I don't think a college student in Fairfax or Charlottesville should have to choose between textbooks or the preventive care that she needs. That's why we passed this law. And I am proud of it. It was the right thing to do. And we are going to keep it.